Today I'm installing my new recessed shotgun vault from concealedgunvaults.com. Whether you've purchased or considered purchasing a concealed gun vault, this video will show you just how easy it is to install in three easy steps. Step one is choosing the location. When choosing the location for your concealed gun vault, there are several things you want to look for. What's on the wall you'll be cutting into? Are there any electrical outlets that would indicate wiring is a concern? What's on the other side of the wall or downstairs? Is there a bathroom or kitchen? If so, you want to note the location of appliances like a stove or refrigerator, uh, or if it's a bathroom, toilets, showers, sinks, or tubs. If you're checking for water, gas lines, or sewer lines it could be routed through the area you want to cut. Is there a pocket door that slides into the bay where you want to install the bolt? Do you have 16 inches of travel for the sliding mirror? Are there any doors or cabinets that when opened may hit the mirror? A little effort in choosing the right location will keep your install simple. Step two is cutting a hole. Now that we have confirmed that this is a good spot to install a concealed gun ball, we're ready to get started. As you can see, the tools required are pretty basic. If you don't already have them, you can easily find them in any hardware store or Lowe's or Home Depot. What you need is a drill with a 764 drill bit, a Phillips driver or a Phillips screwdriver, a level, stud finder, drywall saw, tape measure, and a pencil. Begin by marking the cut lines. Using the stud finder, mark the inside edge of the two studs that the vault will fit between. The standard distance between two studs is 14 and a half inches, so your vault will fit perfectly between them. There's no reason to mark a vertical line since my saw will simply follow the stud as a guide. Now I'm going to sweep the space vertically between the two studs to confirm there are no horizontal blocks. The height of the unit is based on personal preference. The overall height of the mirror with frame is 49 inches, but the cutout for the box should be 43 and a half inches. So figure out what height you want the top edge of the mirror at then subtract three and a quarter inches to establish your top cut line for the vault. For this install, since I'm six foot three, I chose the height to be 75 inches from the floor to the top edge of the frame. After marking the inside edges of the studs with a stud finder, using a level, draw a horizontal line at the desired height between the two studs. Measuring down 43 and a half inches, draw the bottom horizontal line. With the lines marked out, I'm ready to start cutting with a drywall saw. Step 3, installing a vault. As you can see, we've got the cutout done. We've confirmed that there's nothing protruding from the back to prevent the vault from sliding into place all the way. You do want the molding to be able to come all the way up against the drywall here so it looks right. So, nothing's there. We're ready to put it in. Now, before you can lift it into place, you want to make sure that you've already got access to the interior, which means that you have to be able to unlock the lock to open the door. So refer to your instructions that are included with the gun vault to understand that and make that happen. So, with the door unlocked, you're ready to lift it into place. Now, it might be easier if you find somebody to help you do this because it is kind of heavy, but you can do it yourself. If nothing else, they can just hand you the tools to make the whole process easier. With my vault securely installed, I slide the mirror to the left, place my finger on the scanner, pops the door open. There you can see I have my shotgun, my Glock on the swivel pistol post, gives me easy access, tactical pouch, mag light, room for other things you want to put in there. Close the door, you have easy access, they're secured for your peace of mind. Check this and our other products out at concealedgunvaults.com or give us a call at 800-733-1573.